All right, so on today's episode, we're gonna be installing a sissy bar. This way I can take passengers on the rear and I could do it in style. I like that old school bobber looking sissy bars. I know people don't typically put them on street glides and road glides or you know, touring bikes, if you will. I personally like the look. I always put a sissy bar on all of my Harleys. So there's definitely one gonna be going on this. So stay tuned in to check out the install. So what I'm going to be installing on the bike today is this sissy bar from Craft Ride. I got this all the way from Germany, which by the way, Motea shipped it extremely fast. I've never received a package internationally faster than what I did um, from them. It also comes with this really nice backrest. I mean, it's probably one of the nicer sissy bars um, I've seen the quality is just fantastic. So this is what I'm gonna be putting on. It also comes with um, all the hardware and instructions that you need and another back plate um, for the backrest. I don't know what it's for yet, um, maybe for a different kind of bike. Um, I'm gonna be using the one that's already on there. Um, but I've been super excited for this. It's definitely something that's really different on baggers. Um, you rarely see one of these on a bagger. So I'm gonna get these mounted up. I'm gonna show you how I go about doing that because there's a few different things that you have to do with removing these baggers, especially because I got the uh, Rockfort Fosgate sound system. And so there's a few things that I'm gonna have to do in order to get these um, bags off and get this sissy bar installed. Wow, the quality and craftsmanship on this thing is just so nice. I'm really, really impressed with it. I'm super happy with it. It looks so good. It's so clean. It's super sturdy. I mean, it's locked in there. Those welds look amazing. It's like, I've never seen a sissy bar of this high quality. Just the thickness, 
just everything about it. Um, and I've had some really nice sissy bars and this one, I, it has to top the cake and it just, everything, the way it mounts is just so clean, the way it's even mounted to the bike. All right, well, now we need to get the bags back on here. It's just so clean looking and it flows good with the bike. It's not like exaggerated at all or has this crazy, you know, look to it. I mean, look, to each his own, everybody has their own style and taste. Obviously I'm doing the bike in my style and taste, right? Which is the beauty of customizing your bike. Everybody has their own style um, that they like and this is the style that I like. I think it's just super clean. It doesn't look too crazy. And one thing that I'm happy about, especially with these bars um, or with the sissy bar, is that I can still mount a trunk onto here um, for long trips, for my luggage, etc. Um, I still have the option to mount a trunk on here, which I think is really nice. Um, so I'm stoked about that. And yeah, everything lined up really well, bags, etc. Everything went on perfect. Look how clean that came out it's just so clean it's like the most perfect fit ever i don't know if you guys can see that <laughs> it's just so perfect i'm so happy with it look at this like the tolerances on it are just awesome man i think i put this one on a little too tight <laughs> let me loosen it up more. needed to be loosened up one and the padding is nice i don't know what materials on the inside but it is soft and comfy man i like it a lot and i like the bend it's it's a slight bend it's nothing too crazy um and yeah just super clean so one thing i just realized that i messed up on um so craft ride includes two of these plates one is for mounting the pad lower and then the one that you can see here that I mounted um, is for mounting the pad, as you see, um, which is higher up, right? Depends where you want to put the pad is they include two brackets for that, which is awesome and good by them. But I did realize I put this in backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse that really quick and just get this thing on the outside because it'll be a much cleaner look. And just like that, thanks to editing, it is done. And that looks so much cleaner now. I probably should have did that from before. Don't know, I didn't do that before, but yeah. That, that, that came out much nicer, it's much cleaner. Now it's just the screws showing, the spacers aren't showing. It just looks nice. So yeah, it looks good. Now, one very important thing to note is I got the XL version of this bar. They do sell, so Craft Ride does sell shorter versions of this bar. I got the XL version because that's just my style. I like the look of it. Um, but of course, there's many different sizes that they have that you guys can check out. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to um, their sissy bar in the description box below. I ordered it through eBay. Um, and Motea, I believe is the name of the company who ships it out, um, got it to me in three days all the way from Germany, which is crazy. So from the time I placed the order to the time it hit my house was three days all the way from Germany. I'm in central Florida. Um, so that was super quick. So shout out to um, Motea. They're, I mean, just awesome. I would totally check them out. I totally buy from them on eBay, fantastic sellers. Um, and then shout out to Craft Ride on creating such a clean, amazing product. I saw a bunch of different uh, sissy bars out there on the web. Not a single one came as close as this one did in terms of quality and fitment. Like not even close, not even in the same ballpark. So I'd highly recommend you spend the extra money and go with the sissy bar. You will not regret it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video in my build series. Make sure that you like this video and comment down below, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will put you in for an opportunity 
into my weekly cash giveaways. Now that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys are paying it forward. I'll check you guys out later. Bye now.